All right, this will be uh, Chapter 2, Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. Uh, chapter 2, page uh, 2-1. Uh, an aircraft it is a device that is used or intended to be used for a flight according to the current Title 14 of the Code, Federal Regulations, 14 CFR, Part 1, Definitions and Abbreviations. Categories of aircraft for certification of airmen include airplane, rotorcraft, glider, lighter than air, powered lift, powered parachute, and weight shift control. 14 CFR, Part 1, also defines airplane as an engine-driven fixed-wing aircraft that is supported in flight by the dynamic reaction of air against its wings. Another term not yet codified in 14 CFR Part 1 is advanced avionics aircraft, which refer to an aircraft that contains a global positioning system, navigation system, with a moving map display in conjunction with another system such as an autopilot. autopilot. This chapter provides a brief introduction to structure of aircraft and uses an airplane uh, for most illustrations. Light sport aircraft, LSAs, such as weight shift control, balloon, glider, powered, Parachute and gyroplane have their own handbooks to include detailed information regarding aerodynamics. So it's a chapter two introduction, and here's a two dash two, lift and basic aerodynamics. In order to understand the operation of major components and subcomponents of an aircraft, it is important to understand basic aerodynamic concepts. This chapter briefly introduces aerodynamics. A more detailed explanation can be found in chapter four, aerodynamics of flight. Four forces act upon an aircraft in relation to straight and level unaccelerated flight. These forces are thrust, lift, weight, and drag. Thrust is forward force produced by the power plant propeller. It opposes or overcomes the force of drag. As a general rule, it is said to act parallel to the longitudinal axis. That is not always the case as explained later. Drag is rearward retarding force and it is caused by a disruption of airflow by the wing, fuselage, and other protruding objects. Drag opposes thrust and acts rearward parallel to the relative to wind. Weight is the combined load of the airplane itself, the crew, the fuel, the cargo, or baggage. Weight pulls the airplane downward because of the force of gravity. It opposes lift and acts vertically downward through the airplane's center of gravity. Lift opposes the downward force of weight. It is produced by the dynamic effect of the air acting on the wing and acts perpendicular to the flight path through the wing's center of lift. An aircraft moves in three dimensional and is controlled by mm, moves in three dimensional and, and three dimensions and is controlled by moving it about one or more of its axes. The longitudinal or roll axis extends through the aircraft from the nose to tail which the, with the line passing through the center of gravity. The lateral pitch axis extends across the aircraft on a line through the wing tips passing through the center of gravity. The vertical or yaw axis passes through the aircraft vertically intersecting the center of gravity. All control movements cause the aircraft to move around one or more of these axes and follows and allows for control of the airplane in flight. One of the most significant components of aircraft design is center of gravity. It is the specific point where the mass or weight of an airplane may be said to center. That is a point around which, if the aircraft would be suspended or balanced, the aircraft would remain relatively level. The position of the center of gravity of an aircraft determines the stability of the aircraft in flight. As the center of gravity, gravity moves rearward towards the tail, the aircraft becomes more and more dynamically unstable. In aircraft fuel, the fuel tank situated in front of the center of gravity, it is important that the center of gravity is set with the fuel tanks empty. Otherwise, as the fuel is used, the aircraft becomes unstable. The center of gravity is computed during the initial design and construction and is further affected by the installation of onboard equipment, aircraft loading, and other factors. We'll hold off right there. That's chapter 2. That's page 2-2. That was lifting basic aerodynamics.